Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone and sorry that I posted the, uh, in the blog really late, I just did, <laughs> but uh, it's just that I wasn't able because of all the activities for today, so I wrote it an hour ago. <laughs> so the topic for today is expansion and I will try not to expand too much uh, because uh, to be um, sincere uh, I am really tired <laughs> so, uh, and so and tomorrow we start again very early so first of all I uh, we start with this um, I would like to to talk about a message that we received today in the pyramid that is related uh, somehow with the topic for today and I wrote it in the blog too. I don't know if I explained you this um, but um, <coughs> the information um, that I'm going to share now is um, related to the three kings of the story. Uh, remember that we are close to to the uh, December 21st uh, to the December 31st that um, uh, that is the the Bethlehem star the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn and um, this uh, this conjunction um, tells about the story of three kings that were astronomers that could see this conjunction and they knew that the king of earth was about to be born so this is not a Christian story, it's uh, very much older um, and is related to this conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn but followed by three kings that are the three stars of Orion's belt. So as we spoke for sure someday, um, the three pyramids of Giza are related to the three stars, so the three kings the three kingdoms of the spirit, the soul, and the body. So today in the pyramid, when we were doing our task, what we were supposed to do, there was one being that came and said, I am from the, king, from the kingdom of the body, and this is my gift for you. My gift is the mirror. But he did a, a, a game with the words saying that it was the mirror, the, the mirror where you look at, you, at yourself, but he said it in a way that was the mirror. So the element of one of the three gifts uh, of the three kings. <coughs> so um, that makes me, that made me understand uh, of, um, of this gift of the, th of the three kings. So now I'm going to explain why the mirror. What he explained is somehow not like I am going to explain now, but very symbolically, uh, he said that uh, the mirror is like a how do you say resina, Re resin, resin. <coughs> resin. Um, it's like it's like a resin. Um, uh, that represents the spiritual world manifested in the material world, in the physical world. And so this represents that the first gift is not the element, the resin exactly, but the concept of how the spiritual becomes into the, uh, into the physical by the mirror, mirroring the, the, the subtle levels to the density levels. The message of the mirror, the gift of the mirror, was that everything in the universe is mirroring itself. It's a constant uh, expansion and expression of, of um, a reflection of oneself. So when we are looking into the future, he said, um, by reflection, the, the one we are looking in the future is also looking to its own future. So 
In order to receive the messages of the future that we want to receive, the ideas, we have to turn back to our past and to see our kid from the past straight into its eyes and to tell to that kid all the wisdom that we have accomplished through life, sharing our ideas, our emotions, our thoughts, our growth with that kid in the past. So as we do that, our self of the future will also, by reflection, turn to us, look into our eyes and tell us about everything that he learned, he, she learned, and, um, and we will receive some information from the future. So by the law of reflection, the way to speak with the future is by looking into our eyes from the past. So that was the gift that this being gave us, saying this is the mirror, this is the mirror, this is to look to yourself. So the law, the, the, the expansion that we have to speak about today um, is related to the mirror when we say that um, uh, the universe, which is the inside projected into the outside and it see its own image reflected. So by looking that image, we can see different perspective of ourselves. So we start to look for more different dimensions of ourselves to see uh, specifically um, different uh, perspectives, perceptions, dimensions of our, of our reality. The universe by this mirror is watching itself and then this, this same mirror starts to divide by fractalization and starts to divide once and again and again and again, creating these uh, fractals of the only reality, the one self, and it expands into the infinite, constantly. Hmm? This shows us that the universe is a being that is constantly looking for new possibilities of itself. It's seeking to learn as much as possible from its own being. Hmm? So the thing is that as much the universe is looking straight into something, looking for the for all the dimensions and aspects from that uh, from that being from that other projection, the most uh, faces it see from that uh, thing. So suddenly it realized that each one of the particles of this of the beings that exist in the universe creates its own mirrors, its own um, their own projections and fractalizations. So it starts to be eternal, starts to be spread eternally. So basically, as closer I get to get to understand something, the closer I get to think what that can become if I look at it in a different way. So this is why the universe starts to to project itself in many other shapes and so keep going and keep going until it just expands towards the infinite. And it expands in two kinds of infinite, the infinite of time and the infinite of space. So uh, what we call the expansion of time would be kind of the branches of the tree of life in the universe. And what we call expansion of space is the expansion of the roots of the tree of life. But it doesn't matter if root or branches, it's, it's just a concept. And the reason why I say the tree of life is because for all cultures, the way to explain this expansion of the universe is through a tree because they see that from unity, it divides into duality, and from there, in four, in eight, and so on, once and again, once and again, and the shape of it is kind of a tree. 
in this fractalization of this tree, in this expansion, makes that all the things that are going up, like the branches, starts to go down too because of this ramification. And then the roots also, they start to go up because they start to divide and, and open, okay? So someday the roots and the branches will match and touch each other. This, uh, so this is the shape of the torus. This created the torus. So this is how time and space are connected. So the transmission and the information between all times and spaces are st start to to connect, start to 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 manifest. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when we describe the torus, you will see that this shape is not growing like this expanding itself it's growing like this replicating itself once and again we have to understand that the torus is this shape that is not expanding towards a direction in the universe but it is this fractalization of itself that moves once and again replicating its, its own shape and nourishing from absorbing itself and expanding itself absorbing and so it goes to the outside and goes back to the origin and the origin itself is part of that fractalization so this is why the torus this tree of life is an example of the constant expansion of the universe this is why the universe is expanding itself through recycling itself hmm? So this is why every time that we are looking to go back to the core of the um, uh, of the universe, to the center, to the origin, what we are promoting is to expand even more the universe. So expansion is not how far the stars can spread in the universe. The expansion is about how many times and how many dimensions <clears throat> can we project our visions of those stars? Hmm? So by the expansion, the universe is just trying to tell us that we also live in expansion and that we are also trying to create our own universe by expansion. Hmm? So today, in the day of... Um, of the torus of the toroid um, our goal is to work exactly with that expansion <laughs> I told you I was going to speak less see <laughs> if you want to have something more there is the blog the vibration for today is The statement for today is, I am the dimension of eternity. The quote for today is the Icosa Dodecahedron. The combination of the Icosahedron and the Dodecahedron generates the communication force between heaven and the depth, between air and water, mountain and valley, high and low. Its faces are the sum of the two mentioned figures, a total of 32, with 12 pentagonal and pentagonals and 20 triangulars, 60 edges and 30 vertices. This interaction between both complementary poles <clears throat> make it the base pattern that will originate the throat chakra. So with this alignment today, we close the mental week of Sagittarius. Let's sit comfortable, move your body to, to stretch, to relax it as we start to focus in our breathing.
I remember that I am a seed inside the earth, absorbing the nutrients to spread my roots and my leaves above. I feel the roots going deep and deep as my leaves go up in between the forest and the animals. I expand growing up aside the tree of life. <clears throat> As I reach the branches and the leaves, searching for the light <clears throat> with every breath. <clears throat> with my hands. I accompany the flowering as I reach the air over the tree, looking into the forest from above and the savanna. Take a deep breath, expanding even more being able to observe the entire forest, the entire savanna, the coast, the sea, the horizon. As I expand, I reach the skies, feeling the light, the yellow light of the sun, the white light from the clouds and the light blue from the sky. Take a deep breath and allow your flower to open wider as you reach the atmosphere, getting out of it reaching the outer space and realizing that the light that you were searching for is now in the surface of the earth. And I can see Africa below me, Europe, Middle East and Asia. And as I expand and move around the world, I can see the Americas, the Pacific Ocean, Oceania, and Antarctica. Take a deep breath and take the world between your hands and bring it towards you. But this time you make it bigger as you go inside of it. With this fear around you and your crown touching the North Pole as your feet touch the South Pole. And from here, I expand myself. I feel the magnetical field coming from my crown to the north of the planet 
going all around the sphere of the world like this spider web coming back to me through my feet I feel the toroid flowing through me going around me and moving everything that is eternal within me and I recognize this expansion, this eternity with my sound connecting all the dimensions I am the dimension of eternity. I am the dimension of eternity. I am the dimension of eternity. I see the eternity. I see, I see, I see. Take a deep breath as I perceive all the times and spaces through me. For I am the eternity. Yo soy la expansión. I am the expansion.
Take a deep breath. And softly, I start to bring all this consciousness throughout my body, caressing, stretching, and yawning. And slowly, each one at its own time, come back here and now. Um, so today closing with this Taurus day um, the energy that came was the weaver the spider and she doesn't speak any language <laughs> only networks so for whoever Resound, um, she shared those codes. So thank you, everybody, as always, for being there, for accomplishing another week. And see you tomorrow at the same time, as always, to begin with the emotional week. See you tomorrow. Bye. Adios.